Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of um, Blazer Jacket. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to draft your back panel. So what you need is your pattern paper, your, your mat set, which is not all that necessary, your tape rule, your measuring tape, your pencil, your tracing wheel, and your stretch rule and curve rule. So let's get started. So guys, if you are new, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you are an OD, subscribe, turn on the notification bell on, and then don't forget to drop your comments down below. So you guys know that we love using one inch as our baseline or as our starting line. So, you know in the front panel, we went down by uh, 6 inches or 4 to 6 inches from here then uh, then from there we went inside by uh, four inches so but in this video is the back panel i'm going to also show you guys how to draft a blazer sleeve so we are going to be taking it step by step so once you connect your baseline depending on the your shoulder measurements so the next thing is to to mark out our basic length measurement so i'm going to mark out my shoulder to chest seven shoulder to bust ten and half shoulder to waist seventeen and half then from waist to my hip is nine nine plus two inches will give me eleven which is here so i'm going to repeat the same at this side seven ten and half seventeen and half then um, nine and eleven So after I'm going to connect it the two side seams will join together to form a piece. So for the back panel, so remember what we used? We used three, three by three on the front. But on this case, we are going to use three by one inch three by one inch so like i said my shoulder is seven but i'm going to make it to be seven and a half So I will go in by, I will go down by one inch as my shoulder slope and then connect. So for the back, note that the front, the uh, front is lower. Front shoulder is kind of lower when compared to back. Back is more high to the shoulder measurement. So I'm going to add one one inch to this. So I'm going to reconnect. So I'm going to reconnect. So from here, I'm going to measure my armhole. What we used in the previous video was 8.25, if I can remember. So I'm going to connect to this. And then shift. So we use normal armhole measurements for the front. So we are going to use it also for the back. So you can use this to achieve your kimono, your blazers, 
and otherwise. So once we add true, the that we used is seven and um, three point seven five. So I'm going to mark out three point seven five. Or you can use for depending on what you want. If you want standard that you can use for, but I'm using my own body size, uh, body size uh, that. So I'm connecting the line. So once you are done connecting the line, this is the bust line. This is the chest line, the bust line, the waist, and then the full length. So from this bust line, know that from shoulder, where your where your dart starts from is from nine inches. So we are going to mark it. So from the waist, we are going to go by half half inch. So we are going to connect it. We are going to connect it like so, half half inch. So, so once you are done connecting your dart line, hmm? um, remember that. You can use your what's it called your princess. Once you are using your princess in the front, make sure that your princess will also be at the back. If you are using shoulder, make sure that the shoulder that um, the dart is on shoulder also. So we are going to divide our shoulder into two. That's a four and a half divided into two. We give us two points two point two five. So I'm going to connect from here to this point. So we are not going to be making use of this. So the next thing for me to do on my waist, remember that this is supposed to give you fitting. The back supposed to be like this. Mm -hmm. The back supposed to be like a curve like this so that it's with the waist we enter inside. So I'm going to go in by one inch. If I go in by one inch, I'm going to measure my. So from this one inch on the waist, I'm going to connect it to the neckline. So make sure that this is on the neckline. like so so always make sure that from this waistline or connect it also to the to the full length or your or your hip but since this, this is a a half blazer and not a full blazer the next one after the sleeve then i'll show you guys how to call the full blazer so you are going to use a cover to blend out this hash line so depending on the curve rule you are using, so I'm going to blend out this hash line. So now I'm going to start with my measurement, my basic measurements. My bust is 37. That is what I used on that on the previous video. So 37 divided by 4. So this is how you take your measure, you divide from your tape, if your calculator or your calculator, if your calculator, calculator is not on your reach. So my bust is at 36, 37 divided by 4, you give me 9.25. Thirty-seven. 
18 and half then 9.25 so this 9.25 i'm going to place it on here this is now my new line so this this line this dotted line is now my new my new line so from here is 9.25 i'm going to place my tape on this dotted line and mark out remember that this is almost 0 0.25 so i'm going to add it back i'm going to add everything that i missed on this um, that measurement so my waist is 31 depending if you want to make your waist to be tighter or whatever so 15 divided by 2 will give me seven and a half my dad is one so it's going to be eight and a half so i'm placing my tape on the dotted line and i am marking so my hip is 10 10 divided and 40 40 divided by 40 divided by 4 will give me 10. so i'm going to place my tape and mark so once i'm done marking I'm going to connect my lines with a dotted line also. So once you are done connecting with a dotted line, you blend. Once you blend, on the hip line on this hip line hmm, you also blend it out so that it will not have this um so this is how you blend out so i think we are through with this um measurement everything is done and settled so this is how you draft your back panel always make use of always and always make sure that this one inch you might not here is there so that your back will have shape and not be hanging so i'm going to label for the back pan this is this is center back so this is going to be three times two this one is going to be times two so for the back panel we have one and two so but for the front panel we have one two almost three or four so that is it guys make sure you subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and then drop your comments down below turn on the notification bell to be the first to be notified in any of my uploads i love you guys Mwah.